Hello my friends! Today I am here once again in hopes to create a safe space for you all. I'm going to be talking about the growth journey. Why we can feel frustrated and stagnant and why we can feel discouraged and lose hope. But how that is all just a part of this beautiful process and how we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today and I hope that I can create a safe space on this channel for you all to come to when you're just looking to heal, when you're just looking to go within, to connect with others and hear other people's stories. So that is the goal for this channel and that is what I will be attempting to do in this video today. All right, so our growth journeys are very special and they are very unique to each one of us. Much of the time, they may feel very discouraging and frustrating, but then there's other times when we're full of excitement and inspiration and hope for the future. There are many highs and lows to our growth journeys, and that is what makes them such a special and unique journey to each and every one of us. We are all seeking for different things in this lifetime, but what we all really want is happiness and inner fulfillment, joy, peace, whether you are seeking to gain more financial success in life, whether you are chasing after a certain career goal, whether you are seeking better physical health or better mental health, this message that I'm sharing today really applies to all types of growth journeys and I hope it resonates with you. The thing about our growth journeys is that if we were to actually look at it from a broad perspective, it would be very clear how much we've grown and how all of the obstacles that have come along the way have helped us to grow more. But when we are in the midst of one of our lows, we're not really able to see it that way. You may be wondering why it seems like every time you take a step forward, you end up taking three steps back. It may feel like that a lot of the time, but you're not seeing it from a broad perspective. If you really take a step back and really look at your growth journey and how much you've really grown, and how far you've really come and how each and every obstacle has really played a part in this journey, then you would find very much joy in looking at it that way. The thing is, people expect their growth journeys to be linear and they just simply will never be that way. That is not how growth works. We may have many high highs and many low lows. And I believe that different periods of time throughout this journey serve you different purposes serve you different lessons that help you along the way. This is how I feel many people's journeys often look like, and they're not able to see it in that moment. But I think this is a pattern for a lot of people. They'll have a period of lots of positive growth and change from as little as a few days to however long. And then they may often experience a period of plateau, of feeling stagnant, of not feeling that inspiration anymore, or maybe not feeling motivated anymore, or experiencing a decline in their mental health. And then this may lead to a digression, maybe from procrastination or life circumstance, mental health. So then people really lose hope and start to become very discouraged. And from their perspective, they're thinking that none of that growth mattered because all of that growth has been subtracted now. But that could not be farther from the truth because you learn so very much through those periods of darkness, through those periods of lows. And the beautiful thing that often happens is when people start to degress, they may get lower and lower. They may even hit what they would think is rock bottom. And eventually, they get so sick and tired of being there. They get so sick and tired of being tired, of being unhappy, that that low ends up catapulting them into an even higher high than they've ever been before because they've already reached a high before, yet they digressed for whatever reasons. But through that digression, They've learned so many lessons, they've experienced so much pain that it's able to catapult them into an even higher high than they've ever been before. Maybe because it forces you to take massive action or maybe because once you've reached a better place, it feels even higher than ever before because you've been at such an extreme low. And that's why experiencing those highs and lows in life are so very important. They are all just a part of this journey of life, is experiencing those highs and experiencing those lows, and you can't have one without the other. And this is when perspective really comes into play. Because when we are in the midst of that really low low, from our current scope of viewing things, 
it feels like we've only gone backwards and we can't see what the future holds. So we just end up labeling that place in our lives a bad time. We see it as negative, whatever struggles we're facing in that moment. But I'm here to show you a more expanded perspective. No longer labeling things as bad or good. Whether they are preferable or unpreferable doesn't necessarily mean that they are a positive or a negative thing. We should see everything as neutral and as the everlasting changes and waves of life, all leading us to the next phase of our life, all phases being equally as important and special. This is also about recognizing our small growth and our little achievements over time, because that's another thing is when we get in that low state of mind, we no longer see all of that progress we've made. But if we just take a step back and compare where we're at right now, compared to where we were a year ago or two years ago, then we remember how much growth has been made, even if it's little growth, okay? Any type of growth is worth being celebrated. Small growth over time is beautiful to witness because it's really like planting seeds here and there, planting seeds in different areas of our life and seeing each one begin to sprout a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, just beginning to sprout and growing maybe slowly but consistently over a period of time. And sometimes that plant begins to wilt. Sometimes we kill the plant and we have to start over, but now we know how to take better care of that plant this time. Now we have more energy and attention on the plant this time. And so we have more faith and inspiration to keep that plant going strong the next round. For example, maybe your goal is working on your physical health. Maybe you're struggling with an illness or you're trying to lose weight and eat healthier. Maybe it feels like you've completely digressed because maybe you lost weight at some point, but you gained all of it back plus more. But that doesn't mean that there hasn't been any growth being made because if you look at where you were at, a year ago, you might have had no intention to change or you may have had no knowledge on how to change. And you look at yourself a year later and you've learned so much. Maybe you've messed up here and there or you've made mistakes along the way, but the difference is that you've grown so much and you've expanded your knowledge about how to become healthier. And the difference is that now you have much more will and drive and intention to change, whereas you didn't before. So even if it feels like you've digressed completely, you have to look at each and every one of those little achievements and really celebrate that growth and have much gratitude for that growth and be proud of yourself. It's also important to realize that as agonizing as this journey may seem, and I know everyone's path and journey is different. So your journey might look completely different than mine. And I understand that, but it's important to realize that in many cases, the journey is really the best part. And most people do not see that at the time. But many successful people, people who have reached and fulfilled all of their goals, end up saying that the journey was the best part. Because once they reached and accomplished those things that they wanted to, they realized that the most excitement they ever felt was during that journey, was when they had that hope and inspiration, when they had that idea, when they were working on themselves every day, when they were learning every day. Many people say that that was the best part, even though they didn't see it at the time. One of my favorite quotes from the book, The Alchemist, is when he says, it's the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting. Because it reminds us of how special and important and beautiful the journey itself is. There's nothing quite like that feeling of desire, that feeling of hope, that feeling of wanting change, of really working towards that change, of really developing yourself as a person and finding your true self. There is nothing quite like that. So my goal in this video today is to help lift your spirits up again. If you are feeling discouraged, if you are feeling like you're not where you want to be and you're unhappy, unsatisfied, if you're mad at yourself, whatever you are feeling. My intention in this video today is, is to lift your spirits up again and to remind you to enjoy the journey because it really is the most beautiful part. Thank you so very much for joining me today. And if this video added any value to you, then feel free to give it a like or comment down below 
or subscribe to this channel. That really helps support me in the YouTube algorithm as I am a small creator at the moment. My goal for this channel is to create a safe space where people can come to, to learn, to grow, to heal, and to become their best selves. So if you are also on a journey of healing and you would like to join me on mine, then feel free to subscribe and I really hope that I see you in my next video. Peace, love, and blessings to you all.